faced with its worst drought in 40 years, Kenya is banking on genetically modified crops to combat food insecurity. The country recently lifted a 10-year ban on GMO imports and production and is now conducting trials for a variety of maize that requires a lot less water to grow. This maize is able to give at least a harvest, even in times of high uh, water stress, when there is no, no rain. So, and also it has the ability to more or less re reselect. But this potential solution to failing harvests also has its share of critics. Several consumer rights and biodiversity groups have condemned the lifting of the ban, arguing that such a critical decision should have been put to a public consultation. The move is also unpopular among organic farmers like Esther Kagai, who says she's been able to keep her harvests healthy using indigenous seeds and low-tech irrigation techniques. I think what we are lacking in our country is water. Look at the people who have enough water with, enough, with, with good seed, not GMO seeds. They are doing well. They are not hungry. There are also economic concerns over the ban lift, which will open Kenya up to GMO imports, with many farmers expressing worries over unfair competition by multinational firms.